Hi, Jamie Davis here from The Nursing Show, back with you at the American Association of Critical Care Nurses Conference, NTI 2013. We're in the physio control booth. I'm here with Ken Craig. He's the group manager for hospital marketing at physio control. And Ken, uh, you know, thanks again for physio's support of nursing and what we do and care for our patients. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's been going on with physio control and uh, managing cardiac arrest and, and those, the care of those patients. Sure. Well, the, uh, for in-hospital cardiac arrest, the survival rate has been historically 17, 18 percent, and it's been that way for decades. It's essentially been unchanged. And so the, the 2010 AHA guidelines and the 2013 uh, consensus recommendations recommend uh, a system of care approach to cardiac arrest, and they recommend a, a quality CPR quality improvement system to cardiac arrest. And so what that quality improvement system means is a system where you're uh, measuring what you do, making a change, and then doing something different. And you're benchmarking your results, and you're giving a lot of feedback to those people, both at the point of care and after the event. So physio control is approaching this at, in a system of care way with our code management system. And so that has four parts to it. It's really uh, readiness, response, review, and prevention. And each of those categories, prevention for example, uh, involves training and making sure that people are ready uh, and able to use the devices that they're using. So we have a lot of educational programs that support that. Uh, response, you know, devices that are simple to use, uh, uh, sophisticated yet simple to use. Uh, review is, is critically important and that ties into what I was saying about CPR quality improvement and, and guidelines. And so that is, uh, we have a number of products there that, you know, anytime there's a code, our devices are collecting all the data. And, uh, and then they're able to send that data into software to get reports on the quality of CPR during that event. And then the prevention phase is really where cardiac monitoring, cardiopulmonary monitoring uh, is about. So tracking a patient to see whether they're deteriorating or not. So at this conference, we have two new products that we've introduced that tie into that code management system. And the first is True CPR. True CPR is a uh, CPR coaching device for manual CPR. So it will give the rescuer immediate feedback on how they're doing, whether they're, uh, what the depth of chest compressions is, what the rate of chest compressions is. Uh, it is measuring hands-on time, so it's looking at whether there's gaps in continuous CPR. It's very simple to use, and uh, it uses a unique technology called triaxial field induction, which is a little bit of a, a mouthful, but uh, basically we looked at the technology that's out there today, accelerometers, which measure total distance travel. And while they, they help in giving some feedback about the depth of chest compressions, they're relatively inaccurate on a soft surface like a mattress or a bed, hospital bed in a moving vehicle, for example. E even with a flat surface like a backboard under the patient? Even with a backboard, because the backboard compresses the mattress at, at just as, almost as much as if the patient was just on the mattress itself. There was a study that uh, showed that up to 43% of, of uh, CPR, chest compression depth, is due to mattress compression. So we see that as a problem because it's giving the rescuers an overestimation of what the actual chest compression depth is. So this true CPR device you, has two pieces to it. There's a, there's a plate in the back which sends out a signal that's received by the chest pad that you're pressing on during chest compressions, and that is giving you an accurate then measurement of the distance between those two pieces. So regardless of whether the mattress is moving, you always know exactly what the chest compression depth is. Um, and it's collecting data the whole time as well. So it is giving you immediate feedback. It's giving you feedback immediately after the event. It'll bring up uh, summary statistics on what your average compression rate was, what percent of the time you were in the correct compression depth zone, uh, and it'll give you hands-on time as well, as well as the total event time. And then you can send that data after the event into our CodeStat software for quality improvement analysis 
So we're very excited about that and uh, getting a lot of good feedback on that at the show. We're also uh, introducing the code management module to the LifePak 20 or 20E, which is 510K pending, so we're waiting for FDA clearance on that. But that module will, will introduce, uh, gives you end tidal CO2. So that gives us the ability to, to do capnography with the LifePak 20. Uh, and of course, that's to uh, monitor the presence of uh, return to spontaneous circulation, track endotracheal tube uh, placement, and uh, just monitor and, and uh, overall ventilation. Uh, so end tidal CO2, it's got uh, an integrated metronome you can turn on and off to help you guide chest compression rate. It has a larger code clock, it's about 75% larger, it's, and you can either uh, set that clock for real time or elapsed time. A lot of people want to know how long are we into this code, so you can track that. And it is, uh, has wireless capabilities, so it, it will wirelessly send all of the data from the code through LifeNet, our LifeNet software, uh, excuse me, LifeNet um, cloud-based system into the CodeStat CPI review software. So it, uh, we're excited about these new releases and, and the addition of those two new products with our existing suite of LifePack, uh, products LifePack 15, Lucas, uh, just adds to the full uh, code management system and hopefully uh, lends itself to improvements in uh, cardiac arrest in the hospital. So you're really, with the, with, the, with the inclusion of the Lucas, with the true CPR, with you're really bringing every aspect of a, man, of a code and, and, and managing that patient uh, together into one place, in one location. Well, that's the idea. I mean, we really believe in a system of care approach to cardiac arrest. And so this, uh, these two new products help fill out that system for us. And, and uh, because we really feel that um, while each of these products does contribute to uh, helping improve the delivery of CPR and, and quality improvement of, of uh, CPR, uh, working together as a full system we think will make the, the greatest difference. Fantastic. Well, Ken, I want to thank you for uh, taking a few minutes. I know you're busy. Your booth is just swamped with people and uh, lots of people checking out True CPR. Uh, so I want to thank you for taking some time and, and thank you for your support of uh, what I've been doing and, and also uh, what the nurses in general are doing. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. And I want to thank all of you for coming and checking out this segment here at nursingshow.com. Remember that all of this information is available for you anytime you want to check it out. And I urge you, if you're ever at a conference like this, make sure you stop by the physio control booth. There's a lot of amazing tools, amazing learning and education going on, and you won't be sorry. So that's it for me. I'm Jamie Davis reminding all of you to remember to stay safe and stay tuned here to The Nursing Show. All our video segments here from NTI 2013 are brought to you through the generous support of Physio Control and their True CPR tool. It's a coaching and management tool for CPR. It gives you real time feedback, it's simple to use, and it lets you perform high quality compressions, giving you accurate depth measurement and accurate reporting on the compression fraction and the time on the chest. All of that brought to you by Physio Control. You can find out more information by heading over to physio-control.com and check out the new True CPR.